In this part of the tutorial, I'll show you how I broke the roof wall of the room. The scene is something like this. The ball flies in the sky while making a hole in the roof wall. You can even imagine the Superman instead of this ball. The Superman breaks the ceiling wall and flies in the sky. So in this part of the tutorial, I'll show you how to make such kind of effect with the pull down it. So I just reset the scene and I quickly make a roof wall with the box. Now go to utilities, pull down it and with the box selected, click on shatter it. Now ungroup this and select this part and decrease the shards number and then shatter it. Select this part and shatter it. Select this, this and this and shatter it. This part, maybe 10, shatter it. So I have broken down the chunks into much smaller chunks. Now, once you are done, select all these parts and group them once again. Now, select the grouped object and assign a common color. Now, I create a ball here, small ball. And this ball will be our Superman. Now I turn the auto key button on and go to 10 frames and our superman will pass through the roof wall. So this is the animation. Now once it is done, select all these things together, open pull down it and go to factures basic panel and click on create. It creates now a new fracture body system. Now select this ball and go to PDI bodies and make it auto with passive or cached. That's fine. And then go to simulation and click on start. And you will see how creatively our Superman has broken the ceiling wall. But you will notice that all the fragments are falling down too. This is because there is no base here to support the roof wall to prevent it from falling down. So reset it and now we will create some base for the roof wall. You can create some other supporting walls or pillars but here I will use another method. I take a plane and make it something like this and now I will make a hole around this middle part so that the ball could pass through it. So for that first of all I'll make it editable poly and then I pick these four faces and uh, now I will apply inset and this much inset is fine and then I'll delete the selected faces. Now there is a hole here and I can make some irregular corners just randomly. Now pick this plane and make it passive with auto. Now go to simulation and click on start. And we will see now that the ball is steering the roof from the middle. Debris and chunks are spreading around. 
but now the roof is not falling down so this is the trick how you can prevent something from falling down so stop i think everything is pretty fine now select the supportive base and hide this and now let's do the final animation with making the bake keys option on this looks quite awesome the ball is breaking the roof wall into pieces and you can see how fine the cracks look quite real a great effect with a great plugin Pull down it is a very easy to use and a very effective plugin. So guys, I hope you must have enjoyed my this tutorial. This is just a day one part. In the day two part, I'll cover some more interesting ways to break and demolish the objects in 3ds Max with Pull down it plugin. So till then, do practice with Pull down it, and I see you soon. This is Chandan Kumar from India for CG Tools Plus exclusively. Bye-bye.